Welcome to Morning with Mai. If you are looking for a community of friends to read the Bible with and to get to know God better and to hear what His words have to say about yourself, the world around you, then you have come to the right place. This video has four parts. In part one, we will take the time to celebrate those of you that are having a birthday today. In part two, we will read the Bible together. And in part three, I will show you what to pray for today. And in part four, I will introduce the action verb of the day. Then I will wrap it up by proclaiming God's blessing over you before we come to a stop with today's reading and our time together. Now, I'd like to take the time to celebrate those of you that are having January 24th birthday by singing, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you who are celebrating January 24, you are the birthday darlings, and many more. <laughs> I hope that wherever you are, when you are celebrating this special day, that you are doing it with your family and friends and loved ones. And in honor of your birthday, I will create a special balloon gift for you. <laughs> See if you can guess what it is. I'm going to put some eyes and nose and mouth on this poodle. When you find yourself under the way, when you're wishing you could clean the slate. birthday to you. Today, we will be reading from the book of Matthew in the New Testament. We will be reading chapters 14 and 15. For those of you that do not have the Bible 
and would like to read along, I recommend going to the Gideon website and download their free Bible app, which has over 1,800 languages and numerous versions, including the King James Version we are reading today. Matthew chapter 14. At that time, Herod heard of the fame of Jesus and said unto his servants, This is John the Baptist. He is risen from the dead, and therefore mighty works do show forth themselves in him. For Herod had laid hold on John and bound him and put him in prison for Herodias' sake, his brother's Philip's wife. For John said unto him, It is not lawful for thee to have her. And when he would have put him to death, he feared the multitude because they counted him as a prophet. But when Herod's birthday was kept, the daughter of Herodias danced before them and pleased Herod. Whereupon he promised with an oath to give her whatsoever she would ask. And she, being before instructed of her mother, said, Give me here John Baptist's head on a charger. And the king was sorry, nevertheless for the oath's sake, and them which sat with him at meat, he commanded it to be given her. And he sent and beheaded John in the prison. And his head was brought in on a charger and given to the damsel, and she brought it to her mother. And his disciples came and took up the body and buried it and went and told Jesus. When Jesus heard of it, he departed thence from he departed thence by ship into a desert place apart. And when the people had heard thereof, they followed him on foot out of the cities. And Jesus went forth and saw a great multitude and was moved with compassion toward them, and he healed their sick. And when it was evening, his disciples came to him, saying, This is a desert place, and the time is now past. Send the multitude away, that they may go into the villages and buy themselves food. But Jesus said unto them, They need not depart. Give you them to eat. And they say unto him, We have here but five loaves and two fishes. And he said, Bring them to me. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the grass and took the five loaves and the two fishes. And looking up to heaven, he blessed and brake and gave the loaves to his disciples and the disciples to the multitude. And they did eat and were filled and they took up the fragments that remained twelve baskets full. And they that had eaten were about 5,000 men besides women and children. And straight away, Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship to go before him unto the other side while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent the multitudes away, he went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone, and the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit, and they cried out for fear. But straight away Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus saved him. 
And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand and caught him and said unto him, O thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? And when they were come into the ship, the wind ceased. Then they, then they that were in the ship came and worshipped him, saying, Of a truth thou art the Son of God. And when they were gone over, they came into the land of Janisaret. And when the men of that place had knowledge of him, they sent out into all that country round about and brought unto him all that were diseased and besought him that they might only touch the hem of his garment and as many as touch were made perfectly whole. And that concluded chapter 14 of the book of Matthew. We will now read chapter 15 of the book of Matthew. Then came to Jesus scribes and Pharisees, which were of Jerusalem, saying, Why do thy disciples transgress the tradition of the elders, for they wash not their hands when they eat bread. But he answered and said unto them, Why do ye also transgress the commandment of God by your tradition? For God commanded, saying, Honor thy father and mother, and he that cursed father or mother, let him die the death. But ye say, Whosoever shall say to his father or his mother, It is a gift by whatsoever thou might be profited by me. And honor not his father or his mother, he shall be free. Thus have ye made the commandment of God none effect by your tradition? Ye hypocrites, well did Isaiah prophesy of you, saying, This people draw nigh unto me with their mouth, and honor me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. But in vain they do worship me, teaching for doctrine the commandments of men. And he called the multitude and said unto them, Hear and understand. Not that which go into the mouth defile a man, but that which come out of the mouth, this defile a man. Then came his disciples and said unto him, Know thou that the Pharisee were offended after they heard this saying? But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father hath not planted shall be rooted up. Let them alone, they be blind leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. Then answered Peter and said unto him, Declare unto us this parable. And Jesus said, Are you also yet without understanding? Do not you yet understand that whatsoever enter in at the mouth go into the belly and is cast out into the draught? But those things which proceed from the mouth come forth from the heart, and they defile the man. For out of the heart proceed evil thoughts, murders, adulteries, fornifications, thefts, false witness, blasphemies. These are the things which defile a man, but to eat with unwashed hands defile not a man. Then Jesus went thence and departed into the coast of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coast and cried unto him, saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David, my daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. And he answered and said, 
It is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith, be it unto thee, even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. And Jesus depart from thence, and came nigh unto the sea of Galilee, and went up into a mountain, and sat down there. And great multitudes came unto him, being with them those that were lame, blind, dumb, maimed, and many others, and cast them down at Jesus' feet, and he healed them. In so much that the multitude wondered, when they saw the dumb to speak, the maimed to be whole, and the lame to walk, and the blind to see, and they glorified the God of Israel. Then Jesus called his disciples unto him and said, I have compassion on the multitude, because they continue with me now three days and have nothing to eat, and I will not send them away fasting, lest they faint in the way. And his disciples said unto him, Whence should we have so much bread in the wilderness as to fill so great a multitude? And Jesus said unto them, How many loaves have you? And they said, Seven and a few little fishes. And he commanded the multitude to sit down on the ground. And he took the seven loaves and the fishes and gave thanks and break them and gave them to his disciples and the disciples to the multitude. And they did all eat and were filled, and they took up the broken meat that was left seven baskets full, and they that did eat were four thousand men, besides women and children. And he sent away the multitude, and took ship, and came into the coast of Magdala. And that concluded chapter 15 of the book of Matthew. At this time, I would like to show you what to pray for on Wednesday. I use a prayer book similar to this one where I will write down my prayer request to God and the date that I pray. And when God answers the prayers, I'll come back and write in the date of the answered prayer. I suggest that if you have a journal to do that or to keep the notes in your phone. I find that when I pray up to God, it is so neat to see the answer prayers. It may not happen at the time that you pray, but it will happen. And it may not, when you pray, it may not be the answer that you are looking for. But just know this, that God always answer each and every single prayer to the best of your interest. It may not be what you want, but it's always for the best for you. So on Wednesday, to help me remember what to pray for, I pray for the world on Wednesday. And when I read the news or listen about the news, it helped me to know where in the world to pray for that week. There might be warfare, famine, uh, sickness. When I hear of those instances, I will then specifically pray for that region of the world. And I recommend that you follow and do the same for the part of the world that you hear of that are in need of prayers. And next, I would like to introduce the action verb of the day. The action verb of the day for today is ask. I am so thrilled that Peter asked to come out of the boat to walk to Jesus because as far as I know, he's the only one that gets to walk on water besides Jesus. So the action verb of the day is ask because when you ask, you be surprised that it may be granted to you. But if you don't ask, you will not get. So whether it's help that you need or direction 
or information or a service. Just remember as you go throughout your day today, think of the action verb of the day, ask. At this point, we are done with our birthday celebration, done with our Bible reading. We are also done with the prayer for today, as well as the action verb of the day. So before we go, i like to wrap it all up by proclaiming God's blessing over you. May the Lord bless you and protect you. May the Lord's countenance radiate with joy because of you. May he be gracious to you, give you his favor, and show you his peace. Also, you are like trees along the river bank, bearing fruit each season. Your leaves never wither, and you prosper in all that you do. And before we go for today, I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow as we continue our Bible reading. Have a cheerful day.